What is going on everybody? This is Meatless Bacon here bringing you my first review of my of a server spotlight and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have never made one of these before. This is uh, apparently my first vid and General believes he's in my vid. Whatever. Whatever. So yeah, more focus on the topic. I am doing my first server review on my... Probably one of my favorite servers, if not my favorite server, is DHU Gaming. I have the... I'll include the IP and everything in the... Sorry about that. I will include the IP and everything in the below. I will include every information and I hope to cover everything in this review. I hope to cover everything about the server and... Let's move on. So basically, I'm gonna assume that I'm... I just joined the server. So basically, this server is like... It's a really amazing server. There are many ranks. First, if you go on the server, you will spawn exactly right here. Not there. And you will start off as a peasant. So what would happen... My town is more sexy than this. <laughs> Lol. So what would happen is, you would start off as a peasant, and then, as a peasant means you're basically new to the server, and you'll have to read all of these rules, so I will quickly scan through them. These are the owners, Virtus, Poli, and Kyla Agla are the owners, along with K-A-G-M-F, and Scary Monster. This is basically where you spawn, you will have to read all these rules. This is... Basically all the things you'll need to know about the server because it's packed with a lot of commands and plugins you will need to know. Like shops and mob arena and there are so many I don't think I'll have enough to cover up. So yeah, as you see Jordan is a mod. I am a helper. My name is Beatless and I promise I'll do my best to make you guys feel welcome on the server. So you will start off basically reading all these rules. I won't have time to cover up all of this. There's MC MMO, basically like it adds a most massively most player online to Minecraft so you can like rank up on stuff. And jobs, you basically get paid for doing whatever you're good at. If you're good at killing monsters or killing people, you will get paid. And if you're good at farming or mining, you will get paid for it. And you can basically make new towns and I will show you my town once I finished touring in the town. So yeah, once you've read all the rules, as I said, you will become a peasant and it will take about two hours before you rank up to, let's see, a citizen like Lander over here. And after that, you have to wait another 30 hours to rank up to a nobleman, like a nobleman right here. And as you see, General Zor is a ward. That will take another 30 hours. So yep, I have achieved all of the ranks. So yeah, I believe that's all I have to say about the ranks, and they are currently looking for helpers, so if you have experience, I will please ask you to show them your experience, fill out the application, I will include the website below, and I will tell you where to apply. So this is the mall, uh, you can buy stuff from here, that's why it's called a mall. And basically the town has everything you have, you need. Well, now you cannot build in the spawn town, but it does have all the essential stores you need, like there's an enchantment store, you won't need... Hey, let me try and get my iron sword. I don't have any uh, XP, so just assume I didn't. Ha I had XP. I could enchant here, and if I step on this pressure plate, I could enchant to a higher, much level. So yeah, this is the cool thing about the town. That's more of, I have to say about the enchantment room. Here's a bag where you keep all your personal belongings. I will. I guess I could show you guys my personal belongings, even though there's not really a password, but. Don't worry, nobody can steal your items once they're in here. Nobody will be able will be capable of stealing them. Only you can access them, even if you think you can't. Only you can access these items. Three more things I want to show you guys around the town is that you can also buy spells from this server. Like you can cast spells. Like I currently have if I had a stick, I would show you guys the spell. So there's like gills, you can breathe underwater for a few minutes. There's stealth, makes you invisible to monsters. There are a lot of things, and yeah, that's all I have to say about this. How do I get to the bottom? How do I get to the bottom? I guess I'll just go down the long way. So yeah, that's all I have to say about spells, and now I'm going to talk a bit about donating, because donating is one of the primary things, well, not primary thing, but I uh, highly recommend that you all get you will have a fun time once you donate because once you donate you'll have access to many different perks you will be able to fly you can i don't think you can spawn items but you can like change you can do a mob disguise like 
I can't do it in the town at the moment, but I will show you guys more in the after I finish the tour in the town. So, yep, that's all I have to say about this part of the town. I told you about the spells. You can buy spells from that mage tower. And there's also a mob arena. I'm going to see if it's open. Oh, it's in progress. If it's in progress. So, this is basically the mob arena. You can see people fighting here. Um, who are these guys? Any music? No. There's Speedy Fit. And, yep, they're basically all doing the mob arena. I do not have access to flying in the town. And it's Blue Creeper. This is the last thing I got. I want to show you guys around this town. There's this thing called Hall of Spiders. You basically... This is basically... Um, there's basically, once you enter this room, you will be in a Hall of Spiders. And you will have to start killing spiders. So, if you kill 201 spiders, you start off with 3,000 coins. And speaking of coins, once you join the server, you'll start off with 2,000. So yeah, this is basically the towny plugin. If you're new to the server, you can make a town and you can uh, basically type slash t, t add. I'm not sure if you can, I don't know what the command is, but if you type like t help probably, yeah, t help, you'll be able to have the commands for the town. So I will currently turn my flying on because I can fly since I'm a helper and I might donate. So yeah, you might you should donate once you get on the server because you will be able to um what do you call it? You'll be able to like get different perks, you'll get new ranks which gives you mob disguise. And I will show General Zor an example. Now when you get into mob disguise, you can't really see yourself, but General Zor can. Look, he's looking at the top because he thinks I'm a giant. Yeah, this is the best thing about mob disguise. And I'm a flying giant. <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the towny stuff in the server. The server is a really nice server. And let's see who else wants to tour the town. Who else? So, yeah, this is basically another town made by another king. This king has donated, so he has access to flying again. He has access to flying, and he basically has access to different kits. Oh, right, I forgot to talk about the kits. Uh, once you're new, you'll be able to type kit tools. Don't worry, you won't forget. It will come up as an advertisement, and you'll basically get the essential things you need. Now, these things are pretty useless to me, so I might as well just burn them and let the fire enjoy its dinner for the day. So, once you're like a higher rank, you will be able to have access. You see, that's an example right here. You'll be able to have access to different kits like kit builder that gives you the building kit, kit iron. I just used kit iron before, kit gold that gives you gold tools, kit diamond that gives you like diamond tools, and what's the last one? Kit wool that gives you wool, and kit mason that gives you. I can't use that for another 12 minutes, but that basically gives you more building stuff. So this is Link of Fear's town, and basically he used the kits because I believe he donated so he could get access to more builds and to build a town. And yeah, Steiner Town is about $2,000 I think, maybe more or cheaper, I'm not too sure. And yeah, that's all I have to say about the towns, and next thing is probably the, let us see, free build stuff. Okay, so we are here. Uh, this is the first portal you'll go to. I already showed the Hall of Spiders portal where you basically kill all the spiders. This is the first portal. I won't have time to fight to go through all of these. So these, this is the first portal. It's the resource world. Now you'll see there are two of these and there's a difference between these two. These two, well, they're both resources worlds, but this one has no PvP. So if you don't want to get killed and lose all your stuff, I suggest you go into this portal because... Let's see if I can throw an item in. Nope, you can't. I suggest you go into this portal because this portal is like more eco-friendly. But this portal, you'll see like a lot of people with diamond armor enchanted stuff camping around the... The... What you call it? The barrier. And this is basically the towny world the town General Zor and I, Lincoln Fears towns are in. You go in here and you'll be able to build a town. So once you leave this place, you will be capable of building a town. And the last room, two rooms I believe. Um, the 
Right, the dungeon room. The dungeon is... Is this dungeon? Yeah, this is the dungeon. It's a very... You guys will love this place. You basically... This dungeon is basically... It's a dungeon, yes. And basically... Go try and complete the dungeon, kill various mobs, get XP, and through the ex through the dungeon you'll find chests. Like here's a chest, somebody's taken it. There's another chest, somebody's taken it. If I go down here, I'll probably it's probably done already, but it's a thing. I think the dungeon says about three times a day. The chests have been taken, so this dungeon's been done already. So get down here fast. Last place I want to show you is probably the Parker World. I have never been able to get in it I hope so I can't really show you I've never been able to achieve the jumps near the parkour world so I hope you guys will be able to because I am seriously bad at it this is it if you guys can make it over there just let me know in the comments below because oh gosh you see I am never been able to make it you could try throwing an ender pearl to that side if that would work um okay ah oh, shoot Time and then I'll just get on with the recording. I just hope I can make it. Well, there's so much on this server, so I don't really know what I've missed. There's a lot. There's a spleef arena. There's everything. CK 400s another helper saying come PvP with me. And yeah, the community is very friendly. Just watch out for certain players. I have a list of them. Just watch out for like certain players which will try to troll you. But other than that. I like this server. The community is very friendly. The admins, they're, they're always helpful. 24-7 admins, if not admin mod. Jordan is an admin. And I am on for basically most of the time. If you come on, I'll probably be on. So, yeah, come join us on this server. It's a really nice, peaceful, uh, civilized server. You guys will have the time of your life here. I recommend you come on it. It's probably one of the best servers you will ever go on. Let's try and TP to somebody else's town. Okay, so yeah, this is a CK400 town, the one who was messaging me earlier, and I will access my flying because I either donated or I'm a helper. So yeah, this is his town. He you're probably wondering how we got these materials. Well, obviously he donated for these materials so we can have access to building stuff. And this town is just very nice. I like this town. This server, it covers everything. Like, everything's clean. The rules are basically, let's see if there's rules. Like, no racism, no bad language, no caps. Basically the general rules. And no griefing. You're only allowed to grief... You're only allowed to grief in the... Nastron world, the one I was telling you about the PvP. But if you grief in the town, don't worry, I'll be able to check it for you and you will. I'll probably have that griefer banned right away. You, so you see, once you swear or do anything bad, we give you three warnings. After those three warnings, I don't think there's a jail plugin. There is, but nobody uses it. You either get jailed, muted, or banned, depending on how bad it is. If we tell you to stop and you say no, we'll mute you. If you do it again continuously we will ban you so haters will hate i have to say that as i said this server is really nice i actually recommend you get on here the admins are friendly everyone's helpful like even the admins obey the rules most of the time but do not ask to spawn items because obviously we i mean they will not spawn items for you so come on this server come on this server and like enjoy the community enjoy everything enjoy life on this server enjoy just every little aspect of it and if you want to apply for helper you will have to um you have to be at least 14 you see i'm in matrix s10 11 1000 you see you see how many people love this server some improvements yeah i know some improvements could be made like crayola said you see many good ratings, but there could be some improvements like language and ban hammers and all of that stuff. So come on down here and just enjoy some fun. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed my first spotlight. If you like this, I will try and find more servers like this, but I doubt I'll find another server like this because this server is just amazing. So all of these people are part of the community, everybody's having fun, nobody's raging over the chat I believe, hopefully not by YouTube, everybody's saying, and yeah, so come on down here, IP, everything in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video, my name is Meatless Bacon, and until now, farewell to you all.